हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदा दीपाय हॉस्पिटल एंड फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर इंडिया दिस इज कॉमेंटेड वीडियो नंबर फोर इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ हाई माओपिया केस एंड आई एम प्लानिंग अ ट्राई फोकल आयल इम्प्लांटेशन सो फॉर ट्राई फोकल्स एज फार एज पॉसिबल वी हैव टू डू अ गुड सेंटर्ड सी 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 कवरिंग द ऑप्टिक सो दैट्स वाई आई एम यूजिंग अ सी 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 मार्कर ऑफ सिक्स मिलीमीटर साइज and this marker is particular useful when the pupil is very well dilated because uh, you tend to misjudge the size of the ccc so i am doing the ccc using the hylocote and that's why you can see the flap is staying flat on the anterior lens surface that is because of the high molecular weight hylocote which is similar to viscote and i could uh, do the ccc along the marks the marks are very thin but uh, you can visualize it on the corneal epithelial surface now for high myopia if you are planning a trifocal iol it is important to check the angle kappa uh, you can check it with various instruments i use it use uh, the iol master 700 for checking it and for it the value should not be exceeding 0.6 mm otherwise at times patient may have more dysphotopsias before doing hydro dissection i just uh, removed some viscoelastic from the anterior chamber so so as not to have raised intra lenticular pressure there in the back pressure and one of the common issues with high myopia where there is a large anterior chamber depth also sometimes the anterior chamber becomes very deep when you start phaco and uh, your instruments uh, it's difficult to reach the depth particularly if you are doing trench divide or chopping so you can what i want to you to see here is that you don't see my fingers in the video because i'm holding the sinski away from its tip so that's why i can slide it much deeper into the trench as i divide so that's a good tip to have don't try to hold the instruments too close to the eye and uh, you may have difficulties particularly while maneuvering in the deeper anterior chambers so once the trenching is done you can see that uh, i could easily divide the another advantage of trenching in this particular case is that i did all the trenches with just 40 cm of bottle height so for high myopia it's a nice way to do it because you are not raising the intraocular pressure much uh these eyes may have lower scleral rigidity and uh, higher bottle height may lead to more deepening of the anterior chamber also it might be uncomfortable for the patient because uh, we operate most of these cases on topical once the division is done uh the quadrant removal is easy i use the bevel sideways or bevel down technique you can see the posterior capsule is very very steady here no fluctuation noted throughout the procedure so that's the end of the quadrant removal very smoothly done now for all cases where axial length is more than 26 mm and i feel that the back size is large i use the ctr it usually helps me in a better centration of the eye oil in the long run as well this is the way i do it i use a micro capsular axis forceps i use the blunted one usually and then i push it like this i use the left hand since key just to make sure that it goes in the bag so this is a plus 7 diopter trifocal iol because patient has almost 29 mm of axial length here you have to be very careful in loading this iol we don't want any scratches over the surface of this iols because it may add to the abrasions the injection is quite smooth over here what is uh, important over here is to achieve good centration of the iol so the all the steps should be done very gently avoiding any zonular stress because we don't want zonular weakness it may lead to decentration of the iol careful visco wash is important just like any other case and particularly if you have used chondroitin like in this case i have used you have to be very thorough with the wash otherwise there might be increased inflammation in the post operative period and raised iop 
also if uh, the OVD remains stuck to the posterior surface of the IOL or in the bag, it may lead to capsular distension and some myopic shift early post-operative which also we don't want. I am not a polisher of the anterior capsule much because I want the anterior capsule to fibrose as early as possible and stabilize the IOL in the bag so I just do minimal. Uh, what I would like to note here is that I have already done a opposite clear corneal incision. This patient had around 0.8 diopters of astigmatism at 140 degrees. So I have tackled that with the incision on the steep axis. That's why I have marked the eye at 0, 180 degree. And uh, this is just the way to center the eye. Well, you can see the Purkinje images from the microscope coaxial light are there on the central part of the optic indicating that the IOL is well centered. A few surgeons spend more time in centering the IOL. I feel that ultimately it is the fibrosis of the capsule and the size and shape of the capsular bag which determines the final position of the IOL. Nonetheless, you can always center it in the bag. Thank you so much for watching. Also submit your videos on our website fakotraining.org.in and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.